What is up you guys and welcome back to another video. It's uh it's been a while since I've done that intro. Anyways, um I was actually in a rush when I started filming this video because my camera storage and my battery was running like really really low. Oscar Feed was the first one to get the fish picture in the last video correct, which was a detonoid. But before I show you the pool pond, uh I'm gonna throw you back to when I started filming this video. So this video is pretty overdue. Uh, and that's setting up my exotic pool pond. I just finished washing it out. That's why uh, there's water right there. Got everything I need for the pond. I just went and picked up the sand for it. Got the filter, the piece of driftwood, and all that. So let's go ahead without any further ado and set this bad boy up. All right, so I'm gonna take this bucket of sand and go ahead and dump this bit in here. Boom. Holy cow, I actually might need like five bags. Yeah, that's not that much. <laughs> But uh, I'm not worried about having this like a thick layer or nothing like that. I just wanted some sand on the bottom. So we should be good with two bags. All right, so just gonna dump this bag in here. Just like that. And then go ahead and clean that sand out. We're now gonna dump this bucket of sand in here. Just like that. And then go ahead and start spreading it around. And uh, there we go, I'm gonna move back some over there. So I'm about to get in there and put the piece of driftwood in there. And then we'll start hooking up like the filtration and stuff like that. So we got the driftwood right here. Also I have the filter right here. I'm gonna get in there, smooth some of the sand out and go ahead and start uh, setting up this filter in there. So we have our pump right here and we have this thin tubing right here that I'm gonna connect to the filter right here. I'm gonna plug it in just like that. This right here will sit in the pond right over there. It'll suck up water through this thin tubing right here. Go into the filter, filter it all through there, and then come out through that thick tubing right there, back into the pond. This guy out and about right here, and the other two are on back there. All right, I'm getting in here. Here we go. Holy cow, it's really cold. Now I'm gonna set this filter back here in this corner, so that way it'll actually be hidden. So there we go, we got the filter back there, the pump right there, that hose running right into it. This hose as the return valve back into the pond. The plug is going to be ran back there, connected into the same plug in as that tank. We got the sand on the bottom, driftwood in the middle, and uh, I think this thing is ready to be filled up and go and turn the filter on. So now that you're all caught up, basically uh, there is water in the pond now. I stopped filming when I did fill it up because, like I said, my camera was on low battery and low storage. Mommy, you were about to fall in. Yep, you were about to fall in. Are you going to test it? No, th that's definitely not water. Definitely not water. But anyways, we have the sand on the bottom, the drift right there, which is slowly starting to sink back down to the bottom. The only reason why it's like that is because it's been out of water for about two months now. This is about as high as I want it. Uh, I don't want it any higher than this, really. It's really bad lighting because it's late in the day. But I'm about to turn the filter on over there. And I don't, I don't have my heaters for it yet. I'm going to get two probably 300 and 350 watt heaters, something like that. I don't have them yet because I don't really need them because there's no fish in here. But when I do get ready to put fish in here, I will get the heaters. Now, in a few days, I am going to move in these three big turtles out of this tank there's one of them right there that's actually the biggest one into here and I'm actually gonna be keeping my exotics with the turtles in here there's another guy back there and there's another guy right there because well in this tank right here in the springtime is gonna be a soft shell turtle tank without any further ado let's go in and turn this filter on oh there it is it's out of focus get out of focus there it is though so I just gotta slightly adjust this more into the pond like that I'll uh, later on fix that, but for now, oh gosh, okay. But anyways, for now it is flowing back into the pond, so uh, yeah, the water is now being filtered, it is dechlorinated. Like I said, in a few days, I will go ahead and move those turtles right there into here, and then we'll let this cycle for a few weeks, and then... What was that? What the hell? And then we'll go ahead and put my baby marble car catfish in here. And that'll be the first exotic that I put in here. I will then probably get like two Oscars and grow them out in here. And maybe even a small peacock bass. Turtle saying what's up. This guy right here is by far the most personal one out of all of them in here. It's always the smaller turtles. The smaller turtles are always, always more friendly it seems like. The turtles that we're moving in here uh, from the last video are doing great. It's kind of hard to see but you can see one of them moving around right down there. And the other two are hiding in all that right there. But yeah, they've been doing great uh, in their new pond. Also. So these turtles, I moved two of the smallest turtles that were in here into here in the last video as well. There's one of them right there looking for some food. That's the guy that's been in here. Who's moving out in probably about a month or so. I just want to grow him out a little more. He is also going to go in the goldfish pond, which is right over there. But yeah, that's one of the new guys. And the other guy 
is back up under the rock right there. Also got the flower orange tank resealed now. It's been filled up for about a day and a half now, and uh, obviously it hasn't leaked any. So uh, not next video, but the next video, we'll probably go and set this up. Out here in the fish room now, the Jack Dempsey right there out for once, and uh, the bitcher right there. I know you guys love the bitcher, so I gotta give him his view time. And of course the Jack Dempsey, we can't forget about him. There's the blue lobster right there in his little cave. The original's back there somewhere. All these fish right here are doing great as well. You got the electric blue Jack Dempsey's, one right there, and the other one right there. All the other Tetras and Barbs. Black Phantom Serpe right there. There's another one right over there. This tank right here, of course, is going to be a planted tank, like a full-on community tank as well. Like I said, we have a lot of plants in here and a whole bunch of, like, schooling fish. Probably, like, some rainbow fish and then some other types of small Tetras. We're going to give the Jack Dempsey some pellets. Drop them right on in. And it'll take them a minute or two to actually come up there to him for some reason. And then it'll come up there like he'll make like multiple trips up and down until he eats all of them. Now the bitch is going to get pretty dang mad at me if I just feed the Jack Dempsey and not him. So uh, I'll go and cut up some silver size for him. But while I go do that, I'll actually leave the camera right here. And you guys will actually see the Jack Dempsey come out and get the pellets. So it uh, looks like he got some of them, but not all of them, but he will definitely come back out and get all of those. But I'm going to take three pieces of actually shrimp, not silver sides. Drop it right on in. And he's going to have to find one a little bit differently today because one got stuck in the plant right there, but he'll definitely find it. Oh, oh, are you going to come back out? No, you're not, are you? Nope, I don't think you are. And come on, it's right there. Oh, oh, we got it. Yeah, I got it. And take off with it. He just takes in the log, chomps down on it, comes back out, gets the other one, does the same thing, comes back out, and gets that one. And uh, it's actually all he needs every day. Put one in here for the blue lobster. It's actually a very small piece compared to what I normally feed him, but all the cherry barbers getting it. Oh, he's getting it. He's going to take it back there, and the orange is just going to get it. Slowly but surely coming out. But it is right there. You better get it. Well, anyways, he'll eventually get it. There's a flower one right there. I know, uh, of course, this light is out. I'm not going to replace it because, well, he's moving out of this tank pretty soon. There goes one of the puppers right there. Look at him. Oh, my gosh, he's so cute. He's looking like he wants to eat something on the, on the rock. Here's the quarries right there just chilling. The marble car back there. You got the Cynodonis. You can barely see him back up there in the heater. Look at that guy right there. That's actually the other one. Always going in between these rocks looking for food. And there's the other guy right there. Now it's pretty well obvious at this point that this tank just has like an algae problem and it's mainly because of the LED light. But I'm gonna get these little cleaner fish in here called Otis Synclases. They're really, really small and I would get something like Chinese algae eaters, but they just get way too big and the Otis Synclases are like a smaller version than they are. There's the beta right there and of course the neons, but probably get like one or two of them and I think it'd be a great habitat for them and they could definitely probably help with algae growth in here. Well, anyways, that is pretty much it for now. We finally got our pool pond set up, and then in a few days, uh, we'll go and get the turtles in there, and also, uh, and then in a few weeks, we'll go and move our first exotic in there, which will be the baby Marlboro car catfish. Be sure to drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And with that being said, you guys, I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.